Uh, let's check out this example together. In this example, we have a hydraulic jack, as you can see here. And this hydraulic jack is used to lift up a car or a truck in one of its sides by applying a force F1 on the other side. And in the middle here, you can see there is a hydraulic fluid that transfers equally all the pressure from here all the way to the car. But it doesn't go to the car directly or there is a big piston here. And this piston is a cylindrical piston, if you will and it's easy to move up and down and the reason manufacturing wise we do that is that this liquid here the hydraulic fluid is kind of like expensive to save on the expenses of those we actually make this big piston that is easy to move up and down so the pressure is transformed or transferred from here all the way to the bottom of the piston and the piston goes up and lifts the car up okay Given that the radius of the piston, so I'm going to call this um, R2, is 0.25 meters, the density of the oil that carries the pressure all over the place is 900 kilograms per meter cube. That's a little bit less than water. The height of the end or the left part of the the hydraulic jack is 3.1 meters and we will know why we need this for this problem okay the question is what is F1 given that the piston on the left or the uh, pipe on the left has a radius of 0 0.01 much less than the one on the right so how do we solve this problem okay if we use directly Pascal principle that will may not work because if you want to apply Pascal principle you're going to say for example um, P1 over A1 is equal to P2 over A2 here and here so the pressure here is the same as the pressure here and the area and stuff you cannot use this one here and the reason is the pressure on this part here is not equal to the pressure on this part here why? Because the, the pressure here is, is also have a quantity coming from the pressure of the column of this liquid here, which is, does not exist here. So actually, the pressure here and the pressure here are equal. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say here, P left and P right here are equal because they are at the same level and this is filled with liquid but so the pressure on the left side constitutes of two pressures the one that is coming from F1 over A1 and the pressure coming from the column of oil that does not exist on the right side so on the left side you can say that F1 over A1 plus the pressure coming from here which is rho g h must equal to the pressure here which is p on the right which is equal to f2 over a2 okay so that's how you solve this one because on the left side you have two pressures two pressures one is coming from f1 over a1 plus rho g h okay on the right side you don't have this column of liquid here but you only have the pressure coming here which is equal to the pressure here okay all right good now we have everything let's let's plug in the numbers so f1 that's what we still want to find a1 is pi r1 square plus rho is given g is given h is given so i'm going to write those down as they are rho g h is equal to f2 which is the force coming from the weight of the truck or the car 60,000 newton divided by a2 which is pi r2 square okay now let's plug in all the numbers f1 we still need to find that over pi r1 square where is r1 there it is, 0 0.1, 0 0.01 square, 
plus rho which is 900 the density of the oil G is 9.8 and H is 3.1 meters and this should be equal to 60,000 divided by pi r2 which is 0.25 square solving for f1 you will find that f1 is equal to 87.4 newton and that's it for this problem thank you